Today, my friend, you and I are going to talk about how to embrace going bald. Now, full disclosure, I never usually turn the lights on in this part of my house because I'm worried on video that it's gonna cause a shine on the top of my bald head. The reality is it probably does, but the other reality is that nobody actually notices and nobody else cares. It's only my hang up and my concern about it that makes it into a problem. Hello, if you're new to my channel, my name's Daniel Mitz and Short. I am a long standing suffering balding man. That's right, I have less than a full head of hair, but I have a lot of love in my heart and I have a lot of hope for the future because I have finally realized that if you can embrace going bald in your life, life gets incredibly better a lot quicker. The reason I'm making this video is because it's something I've been thinking about for a long time and a lot of people on my channel come here because they feel like they have things in their life that are setting them back in some way. Well, for those of you who are going bald who are watching this and for those of you who might have a flaw in your life, something that you're not happy about in yourself, some physical thing or some life circumstance, I'm sure you'll relate to this in your own way. You know what I've realized is funny is that all of us have something in our lives that we don't like about ourselves. It doesn't matter who you are. There's something where you judge yourself more harshly compared to other people. However, the rest of the world could not care less about that part of you and doesn't even notice it almost 99% of the time. There are very few people who are complete assholes who do mention it and they aren't worth giving the time of day to, but for the majority of people, they don't even notice it and they're not going to bring it up and make a big deal out of it. So what I wanna talk about in this video today is the ways that I learned to embrace going bald and also how you can use that in your life no matter what the flaw is. There's a very famous line in Shakespeare's play Hamlet, which says, for there is nothing good or bad, but thinking makes it so. If you think that going bald is a bad thing, if you think it's a disadvantage or a weakness, then my friend, it is. If you perceive it as just a normal part of life that a lot of men have to deal with, and it's a reality that you can accept and move past, then it is. You can make the process of going bald about becoming a better person, developing your character, and finding ways to improve yourself and embrace who you are, or you can decide to hold on to the resentment and the envy of other people and the feeling like you can't make it in life. It's really up to you which one you wanna choose. Now that pearl of wisdom took me probably 25 years to realize, so I'm not saying that it should come to you overnight. If you look back at my earliest videos, you will see that in some of them, I have a shaved head. In others, I have half a head of hair, which is quite embarrassing. But along the way, I went through many stages of denial about losing my hair. I tried a lot of different things. I tried minoxidil, I tried finasteride, whatever it's called. I tried all the different herbal supplements and vitamins. I even went in for a consultation to look at getting a hair transplant at one stage. And I finally realized that the truth was I was running from who I was. One of the most difficult things in life is attaching to a unrealistic outcome. If you think that you need something in your life or you attach to an ideal that isn't part of reality, it will make you completely miserable. You see this in relationships, you see this in the world of financial success, and it also can happen with your own physical appearance. If you think that you should or you need to have hair to be confident, to be successful, to be sexy or whatever it is, then that is the reality that you are choosing to have. You are attaching to that ideal. Honestly, think about it for a second. Is it truly an advantage having hair in life? If you have a full head of thick, luscious hair flowing around, does that really make you a better person? Can it make you more successful in life? Does it make you more attractive? Maybe, maybe not, I don't know. I have never had issues with women finding me attractive, with succeeding in my career, with being able to influence and lead other people because I had less hair than someone else. I don't know what your experience has been, but I think this is a fallacy that we all fall into. So to sum this up, I wanna give you three things that I have learned about how to embrace going bald. Number one is to stop framing having no hair as a disadvantage. If you look around you, there are men who have succeeded with hair, there are men who've succeeded without hair, it doesn't really matter. What matters is that person's internal beliefs about themselves and the effort they're willing to put in in life. And it's the same thing for you, my friend. If you choose to see your hair loss as a disadvantage, 
than it truly is. If you choose to move past it, to embrace it, and realize that probably nobody else cares, then you have a superpower up your sleeve. You can actually embrace life and you can grow and you can become a person of character without any hair at all. Number two is to work on your strengths. There are things in your life that you actually have an advantage in. Maybe it's your intelligence, maybe it's your ability to build relationships, maybe you're good with money, maybe you have a lot of career knowledge or things like that. Use what you have to your advantage. If you really feel like you have no advantages right now, reach out to the people in your life and ask them, what do you think I'm good at? In what ways am I excelling in life and where do I have advantages? And they will tell you, even if you can't find them for yourself. Once you figure out what they are, double and triple down on those. For me personally, it was public speaking. I had a passion for it, I had some talent in it, and I've doubled and tripled down on that skill over many, many years. That has taken me much further than having a full head of hair ever would have because I've built on my strengths and I've made something out of myself. And you can do the same thing if you're serious and you're willing. And number three is to confront your worst fear. If you fear going bald, then just shave your head. Go bald, my friend. Be bold, be bald. What you will realize when you shave your head is that nobody cares. Very few people even notice that you have no hair and they won't be nasty to you. Will there be a few people who make a comment? Yes. Will maybe one or two of them be an asshole and tease you about it? Probably. Who cares? What you'll realize is that if you face your fear, it builds your character. People will respect you and admire you much more. You don't have to hide your baldness, you can embrace it, you can show it to the world, and nobody will even care. So, if you have a fear of going bald, what I would suggest, rather than trying to save your hair, trying to take medication, or trying to consider getting a hair transplant, wasting thousands of dollars and all this stress, is just to simply face it shave your head and feel so much better about yourself in the process. My friend, if you've watched this far in this video, I admire you for your courage to face up to your reality. And I wanna say that the biggest benefit that I have found of going bald is the character that it has developed in me. Having to face something that I didn't wanna do in my life, that I didn't wanna accept, has made me a stronger person. It's given me more perseverance, it's given me more courage, and it's given me more confidence because I've realized despite something not going my way, despite not getting what I wanted in life, I was still able to keep growing and developing and improving. And you can do the same thing in your life. Whatever setbacks you feel you have in your life, you can overcome them. Whatever weaknesses or flaws you believe you have, if you just embrace them and work hard, you will get through them. So the character that you develop from going bald, that truly is the biggest benefit. Men who have a full head of luscious growing hair will never experience the character that you and I have had to develop by going bald and embracing it. My hope with this video is that it encourages you to be bold and to go bald. If you can do that, then you can do anything in life, I promise you. My name's Daniel Mitson Short. I am a bold man who embraces it, and I hope you will be too. Thank you for watching, and as always, thank you for improving yourself. Oh yeah.